In this video, I'll show you how to load data from remote locations on the internet. Sometimes uh, I will start giving you data sets that are located on the internet. And one of the common places that I'm going to uh, give you data from is GitHub. There's actually a GitHub repository for uh, a lot of the content that I deliver, but uh, I'm not directing you there because uh, it was designed for face-to-face -face classes. Uh, but the data links will come from there nevertheless. And sometimes I'm going to say, here is a, a raw link, and that raw link will usually end with .csv at the very end, so you know that it's a comma-separated value, and uh, the, a, the URL is going to have these components in it, it's going to be HTTPS, raw.githubusercontent.com somewhere and my username which is lloraban so when i give you a link like this to data set you know that you need to load that data into r for it for it to work with you and what's really cool is that r has a function for this and it's called read.csv uh, you can just simply create double quotes inside the function and you paste the link that you receive from me. I will always give you the link to the data set. And when you run this line of command, it will import any data uh, that is found at that URL. Now, of course, you want to assign this to a variable. So we can call this my data like so. And you can activate the function and suddenly you have a data object that appears in the global environment and you can refer to this elsewhere if i just want to output uh, what it looks like whoa look at this you have a data set with several columns uh, which uh, means that the data was loaded into what's called a data frame